Today I'm going to explain dietary fibre in a way that you may not have heard before and a way you probably won't forget. My name is Dominique Ludwig and I'm a nutritionist. So we know that fibre is found in foods like vegetables, plants, nuts, seeds, beans, lentils, oats, in insoluble fibre, as soluble fibre and also as resistant starches. Okay, so why is that so good for us? Well, in your gut, the majority of your bacteria live in the large intestine. So you've got the small intestine, which is the wiggly bit where we do most of the food absorption. There is bacteria in there, but it's kind of a members only area. It's not um, as well populated as the large intestine. Large intestine runs up here, along here, down the side and out the end. Now, most of those bacteria live in what I call the drain pipe at the end, the large intestine. And when you eat fiber, the fiber is not used by you generally as energy, but by the bacteria in your large intestine. They take the fiber, they metabolize it, and produce something called postbiotics. So the fiber is kind of a prebiotic. The bacteria are probiotics and they make postbiotics like short chain fatty acids. These short chain fatty acids nourish the cells lining the gut. They are the primary source of food. They're things like butyrate, propionate, acetate. And these help to keep the gut wall healthy and able to replicate and also can reduce inflammation in the gut.